here's Josh Rabinowitz. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My whole life, I have been told that I'm an awkward person which I have found incredibly frustrating. But what I have found more frustrating is that recently it's become like cool and trendy to be awkward. <laughs> like, I don't know if you see this now, these people who are always like, awkward, and it's just like, why are you saying that? <laughs> like, I was hanging out with this girl recently who's always been really pretty and popular, and she spilled some of her salad, and she was like, awkward. And I just want to be like, it's not awkward. You're just dropping lettuce. I hate myself. These are very different things. <laughs> like real awkward people, when you do something uncomfortable, you're not like, awkward. You're like, I can never come back here. <laughs> I'm 25, but I think I was a lot more successful as a kid than I am so far as an adult. Because like as a kid, everyone was like, hey, Josh don't talk to strangers. And I was amazing at that. <laughs> I was so good, but now as a young adult, everyone's like, hey, you know what, instead, you should go to nightclubs and try and have sex with strangers. And I'm horrible at that. And my friends make fun of me for this, but like, it's not my fault, like, I'm not gonna be good at that, because at a nightclub, it's too loud, there's no talking, your appearance is all that matters. I am five foot five, I have no muscles and boyish features. <laughs> so even if someone at a nightclub is really into me, then they are too kinky for me. <laughs> Thank you. Like, like that would be, it would be weird. I am more of a fetish than I am a man. And I should be able to fail at nightclubs. Like, I don't care if I'm what you settle for, but I don't wanna be what you're shooting for. <laughs> because the people who shoot for me are the same strangers I was not supposed to talk to as a kid. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But I have, uh, I have smoked about 12 cigarettes in my life. I was never like a smoker but I have tried them. But I never really understood anti-smoking campaigns when you grow up, because I don't feel like any of them address the problem, which is that smoking is cool. <laughs> it's incredibly cool. Like, if you wanna stop people from smoking, we should just focus on making the cigarette less cool. So, like, my plan would be that I make it the law that when you buy cigarettes, you have to show ID and a picture of your mom naked. <laughs> Cause like, who would wanna hang out with someone who always has that in their wallet? You know? <laughs> or, or I'd make it so that every pack of cigarettes comes with a hamster. <laughs> so then all these chain smokers would just have a ridiculous amount of hamsters. I find adults who have hamsters to be very off-putting. Or they could always kill the hamsters, but then you know if you have a friend who smokes all the time and has no hamsters, <laughs> that he's just been murdering hamsters. You don't wanna be around somebody like that. Or more simply, I put a little helium in the cigarette. So every time they're like, hey baby, do you wanna get a drink? <laughs> no one can take these people seriously. I explained this to my friends that they got mad. They're like, dude, you realize there is cancer in a cigarette and people still do it. And I understand what they're saying, but like death is inevitable, whether you smoke or not. So I think people who smoke can be like, what's the difference between dying at 77 or 87? <laughs> but I can't see anyone being like, well, what's the difference <laughs> between zero and 4,000 hamsters drowning in my bathtub? Thank you very much. I'm Josh. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you.